controlled camera movement can add a lot of production value to a wide variety of shots. Food, pack shots, architecture, even interviews can benefit from a little movement of the camera. A cool way of adding motion to a shot is by using a slider. It feels like camera sliders have become a bit inflationary. However, we're going to look at a special one today. The iFootage Shark Slider Nano. What it can do and what we at CineD think about it after the intro. This is a CineD review. Supported by B&H and CVP. Hi folks, this is CineD, I'm Florian and today we're going to have a closer look at the iFootage Slider Nano. It comes with a soft carrying case, a USB charging cable, a Sony style NPF battery, five different shutter cables and a smartphone mount. You can use the slider as is on a tabletop and slide the camera around 200 mm or you can mount it on a tripod. This way you can double the travel distance to roughly 400 mm. The Nano can also be mounted vertically and lifts loads of up to 2 kilos. Let's have a look at the hardware first. The build quality is very solid and manufactured to decent tolerances. I like that all the threads are steel reinforced and the rails and cables are placed on the inside of the body for protection. But the good design doesn't stop here. It has a built-in spirit level and two of the tabletop feet can be separately adjusted. The carriage can be locked with a knob to secure it for transport and it has a combined 3 8 and quarter inch mounting screw for mounting a head. Also, the rotation of the pan axis can be locked so it doesn't turn when you attach a head. Power can be supplied with NPF batteries or via USB-C. That allows hot swapping of the battery for uninterrupted operation. By the way, when switched off and connected to a power source, the slider will very slowly charge the NPF battery. Of course, there is a companion app which is available for Android and iOS devices. It's called iFootage Moco. The app is used to update the firmware and control the slider's function. In smartphone mode, the app controls the slider and acts as a camera app at the same time, hence the included smartphone mount. In camera mode, the phone only controls the slider while a camera does the filming. The slider supports three shooting modes, time-lapse, video, and stop motion. I'm not a big fan of using smartphone apps to control more than two or three devices. You are on set and you're controlling your gimbal, your radio mic, your audio recorder, your slider, some of your lights, all these things from one smartphone so you spend more time looking at the smartphone screen than you would looking through a camera. The iFootage Shark Slider does away with that. Most of its functionality can be controlled with its built-in display. As a matter of fact, I didn't use the app for any of the shots in this review. After switching this slider on, it runs through a little calibration routine and is ready to go in a very short time. The quickest way to get going is by pressing both buttons on the slider, which puts it in quick start mode and lets you frame the start of the shot quickly just by using your hands. Touch A to save the position and line up the end of the shot. Touch B. Now you can dial in the duration of the move, touch start and the slider executes. With the touch of a symbol you can reverse the move and by touching these arrows you can tell the slider to go into loop mode. Then the shark slider goes back and forth indefinitely. All this is possible in all three modes, stop motion, video and time lapse. And the cool thing is that the slider even remembers the move when you switch from, for example, the time-lapse mode into the video mode. The slider is not completely silent, but quiet enough to be used during an interview. However, there are some downsides to the Shark Slider Nano. 
the worst of which is the display. While it's awesome indoors or in shadow, it's extremely hard to see anything in daylight, let alone in bright sunlight. Also, sometimes the motion of the slider gets a bit jerky, especially when traveling very slowly. This can be mitigated by adjusting the tension of the carriage with two knurled knobs. However, these are so hard to turn that my fingers hurt after a while. To use the slider on a tripod, you need to select a sturdy one so it doesn't flex or tip over, and that impairs portability. While this is not a flaw of the slider itself, it has to be kept in mind. The Shark Slider Nano is not the smallest piece of kit. It's still very portable and it can be set up in minutes with a small crew or even alone. The controllable pan axis gives you lots of control, including keeping an object center while the slider is moving. The Shark Slider Nano is a well-rounded package. This and the fact that it can be completely controlled via the built-in display makes it one of the best motorized sliders I have used. That's it for this short Cinity review of the iFootage Shark Slider Nano. If you have ideas or questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.